Mr. President, I recently, well, I've just heard a, a socialist colleague over there talking about Greenland and you know, the, ice, the, the ice melting in Greenland. Well, you know, the question I'd like to ask on this subject is, why is Greenland called Greenland? Is it perhaps because Greenland was once green when the world was hotter? Well, it seems that the British people are onto this because a recent opinion poll in the Times newspaper clearly shows that the British people no longer believe in so-called man-made man global warming. The British people are very astute. And they're clear that politicians have hijacked the environmentalist agenda. It's been cynically used to raise taxes, to exert control, and now it's being used by the European Union to justify your own existence. This week we've also had the spectacle of one of the leading climate research centres in the UK, which advises the government being caught altering data and stifling debate. It's an absolute disgrace. So I look forward to Copenhagen when the political class is sitting round the table awkwardly failing to mention the giant elephant in the room, which is that the globe has not actually warmed for the past ten years. Thank you. Madam President, in my English constituency this week it was discovered that scientists from the University of East Anglia were allegedly manipulating data to try and prove man-made global warming. What a giveaway that was. It is clear now that the scientific consensus on man-made global warming is fast eroding. 30,000 sceptical scientists in the Manhattan Declaration, 600 scientists in a US Senate report, even German scientists this year writing to the Chancellor Angela Merkel. Meanwhile, the author of the key UN report on this, Sir Nicholas Stern, urges us to become vegetarian to stop cows farting. Maybe it is not just certain cows that have gone mad. Mr. President, uh, Madam President, I'm on the International Trade Committee. I'm deeply concerned with the WTO talks starting this week. I worry about a drift towards green tariffs justified on the basis of such spurious claims. These new tariffs are just barriers to trade. They punish the poor and have no justification whatsoever. This is just enviro-imperialism. Thank you.